I don't think there's any way to get her out of that. She was going to put the rest of us at risk because she just... I don't know. About Sarah, I, uh... I didn't think you'd leave her. It's hard to think about. What should I have done? I don't know, but... I don't know. It may be hard to hear, but you weren't going to be able to save her. She was never going to make it in this world. Yeah, I guess... I guess there was just nothing we could do. I tried so hard to get through to her. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. Does that mean you'd turn on me if I was hurt or something? No. I mean... Clem... <laughs> I wouldn't have to. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she... gave up. And when you really look at it, maybe it's better this way. For everyone. I bet she would leave Clementine. Maybe and Luke. Hours. You know, I should have gotten through to her. I should have done something. All I did was leave her behind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted. And I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? How could you leave your sister? I don't... I don't know. Yeah, she would definitely be the time. kind of leave Clementine. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell. When all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah wasn't dangerous to anybody. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. It's easier to leave a friend behind than it is a sibling. So if she's able to leave her sister behind. No telling she could do it to anybody else. Yeah, that explains why she'd been a loner for so long. She just doesn't want to bond with Son of a bitch. You found him. Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself. <laughs> if it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Wait, where's Sarah? She didn't make it. And Nick? <sighs> Neither did he. Uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? You could have just told her right there. Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. No. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he... I don't know... Mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? Yeah, where is he? Inside he the tent? went in there after you left. Said he needed a minute by himself. A minute? I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Ugh. <sighs> I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, finally, so much dialogue, and I've had so much I wanted to say. So, my whole perspective with Sarah is I the entire escape when they try to walk through the massive horde of zombies in order to um, escape Carver's camp. I think the whole thing got fucked up because of her. It was because of her that her dad tried to do something to get her to do something to move or something. But he whispered, he got attacked, and she screamed while Clementine and everybody else was trying to get her to calm down, and that's when everything just went haywire. So, it's just a personal thing, really. I think she just would have been a danger to the group. And I, honestly, I'm annoyed with her. She has been absolutely useless since we met her. I mean, she's the reason that that one, uh, that guy that Carver killed on the rooftop because of the berry picking. She's the reason he died. Because she wouldn't do her job. Um, she's the reason her dad's hand got fucked up. She, she's just... She can't do anything. She can't help herself. She she seemed to be pretty selfish. You know, it's about her and her dad. And I don't know. I'm just... I've been a little flustered with her. And I think if we had saved her, she just would keep moping about her whole dad situation. Attracting more zombies. And there's one thing I wanted to point out. I've noticed Telltale has a certain pattern when it comes to this kind of game. When you come to a situation where you can make a choice whether to save someone or leave them behind, I'm going to tell you right now, just having that option alone, it means one thing. It means that person is going to die right there or they're going to die later in the story. So in other words, it can't be helped, which supports my whole thing with the the freedom of choice being a complete bullshit system on Telltale's part because you're not really making choices to change anything. It's the inevitable. People are gonna die regardless. And like I said, I feel like this game is going to do the exact same thing the first season did. No matter what you did throughout the entire season, the end is gonna be the exact same. So, you know, choices, saving people, none of that is really a big uh, matter anymore. So I'm really to the point where I don't care. I don't care if I manage to rescue anyone or not. I, it just means they're going to die. It's inevitable. You're not getting out of it. And I think that's where Telltale is screwed up. I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck, Katya, Sarita. No peace, no rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. He's just down. That's not true. You help me all the time. I need you. <sighs> I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. <laughs> but, uh, thanks for saying that. Well, he seems to have loosened no, up. Now, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. It looks like it must hurt. Oh! <laughs> Well... Oh shit, does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? 
Oh, they heard water break. We should see what's going on. Well, I feel a lot better now. Kenny seems to have loosened up a little bit. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. <laughs> what's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Is that we normal? Should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. That means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Clem. Yeah, what's Clem gonna do? I know do? it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mike a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I don't know if Jane will come back. I think she's scared about the baby. That's what I was afraid of. That's why it might be a good idea to have you go with her. Just something to think about. That's not what I meant. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. I meant to be neutral on that choice, just say. I think Jane's just scared about the baby, like worried about the baby. Not, she doesn't want to return because she thinks the baby's gonna put him in danger. Again, it's a choice system. It's BS. Are we checking this place out? Oh, I'm walking. Left, right. Can I go this? Oh, I can go this way. Uh, what does that say? Huh. So... I'm supposed to be following... Oh, there she is. What you think oh, about, hey. Jane? Are you okay? I knew you'd be here. Hey. What are you doing? Getting lost in thought. Not the safest habit to have these days. Well... It's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. Ooh. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Does that mean Clementine's getting through to her? Partner? Don't let it get to your head. <laughs> Let's go. Or she's just playing nice, or she can get me to... what we're looking for. Tag along with her when she wants God to leave. Knows we could use a break. Yeah, that looks very safe. I mean, Check this out. one flight of stairs to get up there. Still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. 
Hmm. Maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. <laughs> you want me to look around here? But yeah, I'm sorry if I seem like I am just giving Telltale a lot of crap. I mean, this game is really enjoyable. It's just sometimes it bugs me when your options are extremely limited and just... Um, just to look at these. Find anything? No. Not even trash. Not even trash. Yeah, sometimes it bugs me when options you make, they just feel, I don't know, misdirected. It's, you know, just like recently, I meant to be neutral. I didn't mean to say, oh, I think she's going to leave the group because she's scared of the baby. Because I thought that option was going to be something like, oh, she's just worried about the baby. Okay. Can't go in there. There's nothing in the trash. Hmm. Ooh. It's just like uh, in the first season. I guess it's broken. Aw. Oh, no. Pop up scare. I still remember that from the first season when we were looking through one of these, and I was just expecting something to pop up right in front of me through the lens for a little jump scare. Um. What? Just looking at that. Ow! Shit! You okay? Yeah, I think I almost had it. Keep looking. Uh oh, she's gonna get infected. <laughs> uh, did I miss something over here? What do I need to look at the cannon for? You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. <laughs> yeah, it really shows she's still a kid. Okay, what am I... Does this work? Oh. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind. Though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. Ooh. And who knows if he has friends nearby. I wish we could just make a break for it. Oh. Scope him out and see I didn't what click on it in time. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Where can you hide up there? Yeah, jump inside the trash. <laughs> can you see her? Talk? Trying to put a bag in there? Okay, what if I go back down? Do I have any other option? Is it only look up and talk to him? That's it? Um. Shit. Shit. Подожди, подожди. 
I just want to talk to you. Don't hurt me. I'm just a kid. I'm just a kid. Please, don't hurt me. He was talking a different language. Do you language. understand me? Yes. Look at him. He's so shaky. I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Uh, little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. <gasps> oh. Back up. There we go. But he might have people on him. Or Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. Actually, you might want to check the surrounding, make sure there's no one else around. No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. We just need to make sure you're not a threat. You duck. Clementine, hurry. Anything? Wow. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. This medicine is all she has. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends in the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No. You are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you you take my sister's medicine. You are worried. Hey, we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it, Clementine. We need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special, Clementine. You are not special. You must. We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. I think. You know what that think... word means, oh, huh? No, I'm. I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Portia. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. I think he's... He's not so bad. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, don't do it. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. And she's... she's a hard ass. But... Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. They did take his gun. Threatening some stupid kid? thought we were just gonna talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened. Now we need to get moved in ASAP. We never got it open, did we? 